right, I want to welcome everybody to the 84 Lumber Theater with Y108. So we have uh, Warner Music Nashville's William Michael Morgan with us, and uh, thanks for coming by. No, man, thank you for having me here. It's a big pleasure. All right, Vicksburg, Mississippi. Yes, sir. I'm sure more than once somebody has come up to you and said, I know how to spell Mississippi. Yeah, and they've uh, messed it up more than once. Too. Oh, really? <laughs> how did you mess up that rhyme? You know, you would you would be surprised. They try to put the crooked letter in there, and yeah, that screws them up. Yeah, huh? and the humpback, humpback. Oh, see, I forgot about the humpback. See, there you go. <laughs> I like it. Now, it looks like Vicksburg, a lot of pretty famous people came from there, mostly sports guys. Yeah, you know, Mississippi in general has had a lot of music uh, and sports itself, and um, like uh, Elvis Presley, mm -hmm. from Mississippi, Conway Twitty. Was from uh, Mississippi. William and, Michael Morgan. William Michael Morgan. See, it's we're just going to keep that line going. Yeah, Is that what you're at? Hey, I'll, I'll go in those categories any day. Speaking of which, as a 22-year-old, how is it that you're influenced by everybody that was basically on their way or done with their career by the time you were born? Well, uh, I owe a lot to my, my mom and dad. You know, they listen to a bunch of traditional stuff. And uh, uh, like I said in my EP, uh, I, I listen to a lot of um, Merle Haggard and Johnny Paycheck and Johnny Cash and... Johnny Rodriguez and uh, John Anderson, just to name a few Johns. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the first thing I remember hearing was an old Marty Robbins song. Mm -hmm. And uh, that just kind of got me to dwell into Merle Haggard and, and so on and so forth. And uh, when I was about 12, 13 years old, I picked up the guitar and started playing and locked myself in my room with my computer on YouTube. And uh, just kind of went from there, man, just kind of taught myself. So you're self-taught? <clears throat> yes, sir. See, now it makes me dislike you even more because I can't do any of that stuff. Can't write, can't sing, can't play. But well, then here not. you are as a 13-year-old teaching yourself all that stuff. Well, I'm a little older than 13 now. Well, barely. It takes, a, it takes a little time. Barely. You're allowed to have I'm a beer barely, now. too, by the way, I see. So how does it go how, when you're your age and coming up, a lot of people are probably trying to influence you in different directions. How hard is it to stay the course that you wanted to go? Well, it's not very hard. It's just a, a matter of being you. In a matter of finding your sound when you get to Nashville. I've been in Nashville now for about three years when I signed. And uh, it's just a matter of staying true to yourself and finding out before you even get to Nashville what you want to do and just staying in that lane. And, of course, you know, uh, Warner Brothers has been so great to me for letting me do that and chase my dream and not, you know, necessarily change, uh, for the most part, within reason, uh, who I am. And, you know, they let me keep my hat. <laughs> and let me keep my boots. And my yeah, they seem to be getting away from that nowadays. Well, you know, and that's the great thing about Warner, too, is we've got such a such a diverse group of artists, uh, from Big Smo to Cole Swindell to me to Blake Shelton. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's uh, it's it's amazing the uh, and the love too. You, it's uh, it's really cool. So, give me something that I couldn't find out about you on a wikipedia page or something like that some little secret that well maybe not even a deep secret we don't want to get too deep into this no just... i don't know if i <laughs> i don't know if they want to know everything <laughs> no give, give me something i can't find out about you right now um well i was laughing about this on the way because mallory uh had, had asked me this also and um believe it or not i'm afraid of the dark the dark. The dark. So the first thing we did was turn all the lights off yeah, in the room. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, I'm shaking over here. That's you can't play very well that way, huh? <laughs> all right, so final question. The, the album's done, except they give you one slot. Mm -hmm. and But it has to be a cover. Oh, yeah, I, that's hands down easy. Uh, I'd have to say I Never Go Around Mirrors by Keith Whitley. Wow. Favorite song of all time. And if I was going to introduce somebody to, to uh, real traditional country music, I, be. that would be the first song I'd play. That seems like a lot of people. Tim McGraw says Keith Whitley was a huge yeah. influence on the way how he played. He's down a Louisiana Whitley. boy, and you're right on the border of Louisiana. Oh yeah, so. oh yeah, literally right on the river there. Yeah, we uh, or at least where I grew up, uh, I was about a five five minute drive to the to the river there on the bridge. So we'd go about fifteen twenty minutes. My mom would get a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, William Michael Morris, or Morgan, sorry. Thanks for stopping by Y108. No, man, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having us.